Well, making skin in a lab, it might sound like science fiction, but it's a reality that has saved a little boy's life. Health reporter Stephanie Stone is here with more in the Einstein Healthcare Science Center reports. This is really remarkable, mm. guys. This is stem cell technology that's created a world first in Europe, genetically modified skin cells. It happened two years ago, but it's just been revealed with the patient who's a little boy, and he's now being called cured. Hassan looks like the picture of health now, but two years ago, doctors in London say he was close to dying. The Syrian refugee could barely walk or eat because most of the skin on his body was blistered and infected. The prognosis of the kid was very, very, very poor. Hassan was born with a rare genetic disease called junctional epidermolosis bullosa, known as butterfly disease, because it causes the skin to become fragile and tear like butterfly wings. Antibiotics, bandages, even a skin graft from his father didn't help. He was saved by stem cell scientists in Europe who attempted a breakthrough procedure, growing genetically modified healthy skin cells in a lab and turning them into sheets of skin. Doctors then grafted the replacement skin onto Hassan's body in a series of transplant operations. Yeah, we had a major improvement after the first transplantation because of the diminishing of the open wound areas the child improved dramatically. It's been two years since Hassan's last surgery and doctors say he's cured of the disease and enjoying life as an active seven-year-old. And doctors believe the experimental stem cell treatment could also help other people with skin diseases as well as burn victims. They now want to use their research in clinical trials. Talk about a potential breakthrough. Mm -hmm. This could be, I mean, That's cells, huge. skin cells in a lab. That's wild. Huge. Yeah. All right, huge. Steph, thanks. Thanks, Steph.